Hey guys, how's it going? Today, in this video, I'm gonna be reviewing the Giant Arm Metallic Silver 3D Printing Filament. So, let's get started. All right, guys, in all my reviews, I like to first check out the landing page that I bought that item from. This one I happened to buy from Amazon, and here is the exact landing page. So it is the Giant Arm Silk Metallic 3D Printing Filament, metallic silver that is, and this is the exact one I bought right here. And we can go through some specs real quick. It is um, prints at 190 to 220 degrees Celsius. Print speed is 40 to 60 millimeters per second, and of course it is 1.75 millimeters. So this is a metallic -y filament. Um, what I mean by that is it has a great amount of shine, and we're going to check that out right here when we go to some actual shots of it. Alright, so now let's take a look at these actual prints. So we can look at this Benchy. I printed out here in this metallic silver filament, and we can see that it does give off a really nice shine. It does catch the light in whatever angle you hold it. You can see that that light is reflecting off that Benchy super, super well. Um, and it's a lot better than a gray filament. So I'll show you here a comparison to a plain gray filament versus our metallic silver filament. So up first here is the silver filament that we printed this trophy with. This print failed, but I thought I'd use it anyways and keep it for a reference to show how shiny this is compared to its gray counterpart. And one of the reasons why this print failed, I'll address here in a second. But let's pay attention to how shiny this metallic filament actually is compared to the gray filament on the left. Um, so that print on the left obviously ended up working fine and printing without issues. But when I printed it in this silver filament, it failed more than once. This was as far as I could get it, but the handle supports ended up falling off. Here is another example of this print failing. I printed out this mouse cover to go with the Bamboo Labs and Producer mouse kit, the 0002 whatever mouse kit. And these sides of these mouses kept breaking off. Um, I printed this like three times in this silver filament because I really wanted a black and silver mouse, but the sides of them kept printing off. Um, or no, sub kept falling off, sorry. So I had to go with a normal gray, same thing with the trophy, I had to go with a normal gray filament instead of using the silver filament like I wanted to. And the whole reason I bought the silver filament is to make trophies and do stuff like that. Um, so I'm kind of bummed about it. It is a little brittle. I don't know if the pack I got sent is or was um, a little moist, but maybe I need to dehydrate it and that's the problem. But this filament, from my experience, out of the package, printing the first couple of times, prints were failing and it was pretty brittle. But besides that, as you can see with these benches I have up now, um, it is really, really shiny like I was talking about before. So that is one really big plus from this. If you're looking for a shiny filament and the prints aren't that crazy like supports or anything or at some weird angles with overhangs then this filament filament should be fine so if you're doing anything like that overhangs thin walls or really intricate prints then this probably is not the best filament for you but if you're doing simple straight up and down like lightsaber hilts or um, props then this might work fine but again if the prints get too in intricate uh, this filament from my experience has been out of the package pretty brittle so I don't know if it'll be the same for you guys but it is for me but what it lacks in brittleness sorry it makes up for in appearance and that is for sure with how shiny it is so with that being said guys that's it for this video thanks for watching just a quick review of this giant arm metallic silver 3d printing filament so again it is pretty 
um brittle but it does look pretty pretty awesome so if you're using it for simple prints go ahead and pick this up but if you plan on using this filament for some intricate looking designs or art then i would not recommend it so again guys that's it for this video thanks for watching and if you could like comment and subscribe to my channel because it really does help out smaller channels like mine but again guys that's it for this video thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one